Hello, everyone. Welcome to English with Sophia. Today, we're going to practice listening and understanding English by talking about productivity. This lesson is perfect for A1 English learners who want to improve their vocabulary and speaking skills. Talking about productivity. Productivity is a great topic to talk about because everybody wants to be productive. What does productivity mean? If you're productive, it means you produce a lot. It means that you see good results from your effort or work. So, let's talk about some ways we can be productive. Waking up early. The first way we can be productive is by waking up early. I know that many of you don't like this advice. Not many people like waking up early. I wake up pretty early, but it's not easy for me. I usually wake up at 6 a.m. every day. This is early, but some people wake up earlier than me, like at 5 a.m. I wake up early so I can be more productive every day. My official work starts at 7.30 a.m., but since I wake up at 6, I can do more things before I start working. For example, I read a little bit in the morning and I study languages. I usually read for about 15 minutes and I can study languages for about 15 minutes. If I don't do this in the morning, I might not have time to do it later. So I do all this before my work starts. I'm pretty productive in the morning. How about you? Are you productive in the morning? Removing distractions. Another way we can be productive is by removing distractions. A distraction is something that doesn't let you focus on your work. For example, if you're trying to work and you hear noise outside, that might make you lose focus. Some distractions are hard to remove, but other distractions are easy to remove. For instance, you can silence your cell phone. If you hear your phone vibrate or ring, you usually want to look at your phone. When my phone vibrates, I sometimes get distracted. If you want to remove this distraction, you can put your phone on silent or on airplane mode. For some people, this is hard. Some people don't want to ignore their phone calls and messages. They think that it's very important to check their phone. This might be true, but it's also important to finish your work. If you silence your phone, it can help you finish your work faster. So, removing distractions like this can be very helpful. Comfortable workspace. Another way we can be more productive is by making sure that we are comfortable when we work. For example, if you're in an uncomfortable chair, or if you feel too hot or cold, you might be less productive when you're working. In my case, I don't work well if my chair is uncomfortable. Usually my back hurts, and I want to change positions, so I need to sit in a comfortable chair when I work. Sometimes I sit on my couch when I work because it's comfortable there. This helps me be more productive. Setting goals. One more way that we can be productive is by setting goals. In my opinion, this is the best way to be productive. If you set goals for yourself, 
You feel motivated to work. You want to achieve your goals. I always set goals for myself to help me be productive. It's good to set short-term and long-term goals. A short-term goal is a goal you want to achieve soon. A long-term goal is a goal you want to achieve after a long time. You can set short-term and long-term goals to help you learn English, for example. Maybe your short-term goal is to watch all my A1 listening practice videos by next month. And maybe your long-term goal can be to read a whole book in English by the end of the year. You can set many types of goals for yourself. I like to set daily goals, too. This helps me be productive every day. For instance, each day my goal is to practice my listening in French for one hour every day. When I complete this hour, I feel great. I know that I accomplished my goal. Taking breaks. Taking breaks is another important part of being productive. When you work for a long time without a break, you can get tired and lose focus. Taking short breaks can help you refresh your mind and improve your concentration. I like to take a short break every hour to stretch or walk around. Staying organized. Staying organized is another key to productivity. When your workspace is clean and organized, it's easier to focus on your tasks. I like to keep my desk clean and have a planner to organize my schedule. This helps me stay on track and be more productive. I hope you can use these tips to help you be more productive. Now, I'm going to ask you some questions about the video to see if you understood. Write your answers in a comment down below. 1. What's one activity I do before I start my work in the morning? 2. What's one thing that can distract us from our work? 3. What are two types of goals that we can set? That's all for today. Leave a comment and answer the questions. I'll see you next time.